Yo guys, what is up, Con here? Welcome to another video. Um, first off, I just want to say two things. One, thank you guys for watching all my videos lately. They've been going really well. We're um, we're <coughs> 40, 40 followers, uh, sub subscribers. We're forty subscribers away from one hundred. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I used to have an old channel, but I ended up deleting it because I wasn't really happy with a lot of the content on there and. I thought, you know, new name, I'm just going to start fresh and, you know, and, and start making some, um, you know, some videos and that. And, um, yeah, so this channel's actually previous um, to when I used to be called Who's Con. So, if you guys, guys go back in the older videos, you'll see that. But, yeah. Anyway, we are doing something today. I saw it. I noticed it in my EV and I'm like, oh my god, they've released more and... Like of the original, like the um, the originals of the first series of Yu-Gi-Oh, which was like Marek and um, Sakura, and man, I I can't get enough of the original Yu-Gi-Oh. I've got I've got the whole series um of the original Yu-Gi on DVD, so I always crack it that crack it open and like just binge watch it. So I'm actually planning on doing that. I'm planning on having. Uh, some time off from streaming for like a week um, So I'm trying to kind of like plan that out and when I'm gonna do that cause I'm like oh, I need to watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh again, you know, I just need to like chill out and that so anyway So let's <laughs> Open this pack up There we go uh, What's it gonna be is it gonna be in like packs So oh, okay, we'll show this off first so this is a really cool one deck. I've got a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I've got the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are probably like, I, I can't even show you these guys. But it's probably like, yeah, twice as that. What you guys see here, the scale here, my hands, twice that. I mean like double that, double that. And that's how big my Yu-Gi-Oh collection is. And oh, man, I, I really, I just love, that they still do this. And I'll probably actually, because I know it's folded, but I'll probably actually end up putting this up on my, um, on my wall. Because I'm a, <sighs> thing is, all these characters, I loved Marek. I loved Bakura, evil Bakura. I loved Yami Yugi. And I loved Pegasus as well. So, this is basically like the best ultimate poster. Anyway, I can't open that. I'm not going to waste 10 minutes in the video trying to open that. And then... Okay, what do we... Is that it? Yep, that's it. Oh, nice. So, this looks like a full deck. Pretty much. I reckon this is like a full deck, so. Um, so yeah, I, um. A couple of years ago, I've been on a bit of a rampage of, um, collecting, um, Yu Gi Oh cards and that. And then I kind of stopped. Kind of, basically this year, I kind of stopped buying them. Um. Because, I don't know, I kind of get phases where I'm really into them, like, really into getting, like, cards and stuff. And then I kind of, like, stop for a little bit, have a break, <laughs> basically spending all my money. But, sorry, guys, I'm freaking got to claw at this with my bloody teeth, man. God, I, I hate this. I hate this kind of tape. It's freaking, like, it's really, like, like, sealed really good. So I'm hoping with these cards, I'm hoping that that these are like all the original. Ooh, interesting. All right, so card number one. And then we've got a Merrick card, which is 
I think just like like a character card, I guess. Like so you can choose like, hey, I'm dueling as Merrick kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually like that. They didn't have that in the original card, but it's a nice little um it's a nice little thing to, you know, make up and that, that's pretty cool. Oh, except wait, this one is Oh, this is a shadow. Oh, nice. This is a shadow realm. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Now let's get to the cards. Let's see if we have any shiny ones, actually. I'm very interested to see if we'll get any shiny cards. So, you guys, I'm going to leave them up for a couple of seconds so you guys can pause and you can read them. If you can read them. Um, so far, I don't recognize... Okay, no, I do recognize these cards. I was going to say, I don't recognize any of these cards, but I do remember that trap card. Um, I used to use that quite a lot when I would um, duel with my friends in primary school. In year six, um, I used to like always have the like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff. Um, sorry, it wasn't year six. It was, it was actually high school. Um, it was year seven, and I used to, like, always bring the dueling deck and that, and, man, I kind of want to get into, like, Magic the Gathering, because when I go to PAX, like, everyone's playing that shit at the, uh, tabletop area, I'm like, oh, man, I wish I were playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but they're always usually playing Magic the Gathering kind of thing, so, no shinies yet so far, but that's okay. So, guys, I'm, I'm dueling them from here, so I'm not first thing that you guys see and see them, so. Alright, let's have a, ooh, there we go, boom. We've got a shiny right there, that is a really nice shiny, actually. Is it just me? Hang on, guys, hang on, hang on one sec. I just had a really strange thought that, like, I swear, these cards are small. And so I went and looked at my original pack, um, and they're the same size, so it's really weird. For some reason, they just feel smaller. Oh, I've got about probably 20 copies of this card. <laughs> it always sneaks its way onto the deck. Oh, is that a... No. Alright, I've got to figure it out a quick way. Mm. Um, by the way, what I really love, um, I'll have to find it, dig it out of my pile, but I have the original and the original pack released of the Egyptian God cards and that that was back when they originally released in the series I have Slife of the Sky Dragon I have the Winged Dragon of Ra and um, in the when they in the written reprinted ones that they released a couple of years ago I've got the Winged Dragon of Ra, um, the Winged Dragon of Ra Phoenix so I've got the original one the original one they when they released the original pack Back when I was a kid, I have that, but I've also got the Phoenix Wing Dragon of Ra version as well now. And then I have Ogre the Tormentor. And so I am always being so careful with those cards because I want, because like, I'm not, I'm never going to sell them. I guess maybe, you know, when I die, whoever like, you know, whoever's like selling my shit, giving away my stuff and that, whatever, um, you know, then they can kind of give them away, but, um. Um, but yeah, so, oh, it's cool, I love this, 
there's actually um there's two packs actually. There's there was um hang on. So there was this pack and then there was also a red pack as well. So there must be several versions. Um, several versions of this, so um, I will eventually buy them. It wasn't too bad. This is like an entire deck, um, and it's eighteen dollars, so it a pretty good price in my opinion. Um, that's the eighteen dollars Australian, by the way. So America, don't get your panties in a knot. Um, our Australian dollar is different from the US dollar, like dramatically. So what you guys think is expensive, like paying sixty bucks for a game. Hell, hell no. <laughs> because what we pay for a game, we pay $100 Australian for a new game. That's just one game. And that's maybe, maybe you'll get a DLC thrown in for free. Maybe. But most of the, not, most of the time, it, it's like 140 to buy a deluxe edition. So, I don't want to hear you Americans bitching that you have to pay $59 for a game. I would freaking love to pay but we play from anywhere from 69 to 100 and that's even going to the cheaper places sometimes sometimes we might be lucky and pay maybe 59 dollars but it's really really rare like if you want a top-notch triple a game like death stranding or something um is one i can give you an example um yeah we, we pay we ship we pay 100 dollars for that we pay 100 freaking dollars for that I'm disappointed. I've been really hoping to get like, you know, a Dark Magician or something, but like the classic one. But I don't think I'm going to get it with these kind of cards. So, and by the way, guys, I can see the card. That's why I'm not looking at them because I can see it through my um my recording. So, these are just some. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool deck, and like you get a lot of cards. I think, I think there's like sixty cards in this. And like, oh no, he ripped the fox. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> I'm ne I'm never selling my cards. Like, why why would I buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards just to end up selling them for probably less amount of money? Like, wh why would I do that? There's no point. <laughs> there's just no point to doing that. Oh, hello. We've got some... Oh, here we go. We've got Bakura. Personality. It's a hard pick to choose between Marek and um, Bakura. Because I really, really love evil Marek and evil Bakura. Like, the people who did their voiceovers for them in English, they did a freaking really good job. They freaking aced it. Um... They did so good. And I think we're just running into some magic cards now. Yep, yep. Oh, got doubles. So, usually, um, doubles. So, usually, if I get doubles, um, it's, it's actually funny, but I'll, now and then, I'll, you know, look, look them up and, um, you know, and then I'll pull them a separate pile. And then I usually take them with me. So when I go to the shopping center and if I see, you know, a little kid or something in EB games, you know, like wanting to get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and that, well, after they buy them, I usually go after them and say, oh, hey, do you want these cards for free? And I said, and I said, you know, um, I, I, I don't need them because they're just doubles from a pack that I bought a while ago and I usually carry them around, like, because usually most of the people who are buying these are kids. So, um... Yeah, and I, I never give them to adults who buy them because, um, like, older people who buy them because, you know, they know what they want, you know? Like, that they probably already have a lot of the cards. But, yeah. Anyway, so that was... This was... This was the Speed Duel Pack. Uh, but anyway, nice 
some nice cards. Um, a lot of them I don't have. I I feel like I saw a lot of the cards in here. I feel like I saw them for the first time. So um, yeah. So that is interesting. So that's gonna be good. Adding these to my collection because then these like pretty much ninety percent of the cards that I saw I don't have. So that's really good. So um, I like that. But yeah. Anyway, this video has gone on way too long. I hope you guys like this. This is the um, unboxing of the Speed Dual Pack. Um, $18 from EB. And it's basically a full deck. Um, basically. So, if you're looking for a new deck to duel with. Um, to duel with against your friends. Um, then, yeah, you can just go pick up the $18 one. And that's pretty much a brand new deck. Pretty much right there for you. So... You got some strong monsters, you got some weak monsters, you got some medium strong monsters and that, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Please like this video if you enjoyed. And if you guys want to see me um, open up a part two, which is what I'm calling the red pack, um, then let me know by hitting that like button, guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I'll peace out. Peace out.